Hello, hello AOS fans! It's the Agents of Weird Hollow. Tonight I'm using the Seismic Shock Nemesis deck and I'm using the Toxic Terrors Nemesis deck. I do actually rivals have a rivals deck. deck, rivals deck, 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 deck yes. Rivals, yes. rivals deck. We're this not saying so it's oh, it a rivals game. There's no Nemesis going on. I just no got nemesis, my worms yeah. muddled. Um, I'm playing it with Domitans, the Storm Coven. You're playing the uh, Siege again, the Nephilim. Yep. Ephilim. Ephilim's uh, Pandemonium. And it's straight rivals using straight the cards out of the box. Yep. No messing up. We will do one next later in the week, I think, with all nemesis -y, nemesis -y. Yes. All, ne all nemesis -y. nemesis -y. Probably live, maybe. Live! Probably, maybe. But Probably, we'll yeah. see. But we are already set up, yep. um, and we are all ready all to rock and roll. Uh, you won the roll-off and decided to go for objectives. I think I won everything. You did, yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, I've placed them like this. We've placed all the models. And we've drawn our cards. Neither of us threw anything away, but I think both of us are a little bit... Uh, a cursory sure glance without I've never played the deck yet but a cursory glance at the seismic shock deck would suggest that some of the objectives are a little hard to score I on looking through it initially I'm a little worried that the toxic terrors may brick up if you right. don't get things out the right way round Need more fibre yes. yes yes it's the poison it tends to make things clog up a bit yes. So there we go, we are ready to rock and roll So you basically need a crit I do need that crit to get things going Ooh, okay, there's a crit guys. and a single and oh. double. Oh, wow. Oh, that oh, last time you're a double crit. Yeah, I've got all the crits. All right, I, well. I've probably blown my crit. I don't think I've blown six like crits. last time. <laughs> in, in the roll offs. Yep. Oh, now before anything happens, I need to do oh, my. Oh, you do. My Ephilim's You do, because that might completely change what I do. It, it probably will. Yeah. So I am going to inspire Apatrax. So it's him inspired. I'm going to stagger someone, and I'm going to stagger. Old kindly finger over there. And he's got three wounds too. He does. Two wounds, three. Yep. And then you need to choose somebody and give them a guard token. And I will put that on old kindly fingers. I need to put inspiration on him. And I need to push this bloker one to there. Okay. You probably should have decided whether you want to go first a second before I did all of that. In fact, you should have. Uh, but okay. I don't think it matters too okay. much. Okay, fair enough. I'll go first. Okay. Over to you. I'm being very, we're not very honest, but what I was going to do is go first and then make a charge action. We're just going on to the objective. Yeah. I'm being decisive now after our incredibly long game that we had in the first game. I'm actually going to attack him there, even though he's inspired. Okay. That's two hammers, two damage. Got that. One hammer. Unos hammeros. So that's on Apatrax. So he's got two dodge and single assists now. Oh, a whole lot of nothing. How much damage? Two. Ow. How very rude. And I will inspire old Sarpon. I'm going to play Insect Swarm. Ooh. Choose one enemy fighter within one hex of one or more feature tokens and or hazard hexes. And I will pick um, Leona at the back there. Roll a number of attack dice equal to one plus the number of poison gambits in my power discard pile. Which is zero at the minute, unfortunately. Okay. But um, So I get to roll one dice. Okay. And if I get a hammer, you take damage, basically. Oh, stinky. No. Unfortunately, most of the poison ploys, I'd have to hold on to that till the very end of the round, otherwise. So I just want to try and get it done now. Okay, I will play Ill Prepared on her. Choose one enemy fighter on a starting hex. No, actually, I'm going to play it on Sapon, the Cyclone. Choose someone on a starting hex, give them, give them a move token, and the fighter cannot make attack actions while they're on a starting hex. Ow. So basically so they can move, so they, can they move. can't charge, so they can only move and attack. Oh, that's Correct. really nasty. It is a very nasty one. That's really nasty. I'm angry now. This effect persists until the end of the round or until they're dealt damage. And I'm going to play Spit Venom. <laughs> Choose one enemy fighter adjacent to one or more friendly fighters. That fighter's defense characteristic is dodge. Whoa. This effect persists until the end of the round or until they take damage. Or, sorry, until they're taken out of action, not until they take Whoa. damage. Uh, I then score an objective, Deluge of Toxins. Uh, score immediately after a power step if two or more friendly poison gambits are persisting, which they are. So my first activation. So I'm just going to attack with Kindle Figure from there. So he rolls two swirlies and does one damage, but he does plus one damage if the target is adjacent. Two swirlies. So I need a crit. Yes, because no, not with an attack dice. It's a good thing I put that dodge thing on you. Oh, oh. that's two damage. But it's, it's persistently take till he's taken out of action, isn't it? It's not till yes. he's not till he's. Oh wow. Yeah. I'm going to play a localized quake. If cast, choose one fighter on a feature token or in a hazard hex within three hexes of the caster. 
push the chosen fighter up to three hexes. I'm going to cast with this fire. Okay. What do you need? I need swirlies. Swirly. I Isn't he a, is he a level one? Uh, yes, because he's not inspired. Oh, okay, they're all level one, we're not inspired. Okay. Yeah. okay I'm going to move him onto there. Actually, in my reaction, I can I can uninspire him. Yep. So I will, I'm going to inspire Leona. And then in my power step, I'm going to put Iara's repelling shield on Sarpon, which means right. he can't be driven back. Ooh. And if you're, in a, if you're in a move action adjacent to him, you get staggered. I'm going to put Poison Master onto Ephilim. Which is used this during the fight as attack action after the deal damage step if the target is affected by one or more persisting poison gambits and would be taken out of action, draw two power cards. Actually, I'm going to put that on spawn more. Spawn more? Spawn. You should spawn more, you should. You should definitely spawn more. And then my second go, I will charge a spawn more. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five to there. Two damage, three swords, but with single assists as well. Quit oh. a sword and a single. Oh, I can't do anything. He's dead. Ah! Because of Poison Master, I can draw two power cards. So I'm going to make a charge action with um, Stratosi. One, two, three, four to there. She's going to attack. Assume you're not going to go through the stagger hex, though. Well, I fly over it anyway. Oh, does she fly? Um, yeah. Oh, okay. I can't if you're affected by flying. I don't know. If I, if, if I, Either if way, I don't just know, go I won't there. go over it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, so it's two hammers, two damage. Keep moving. Exactly. Two hammers. Two hammers. I can re-roll one. How many defense dice have you got? Flame Spooler just has one dodge. I'm not going to risk it. If you get a crit, I can't save yeah, it, but, but I've only got a one in six yeah. chance anyway. So it's a crit. It's crit. No. So it's two damage. Ouch. Now I'm going to put... This might be a response. I'm going to put Blighted Aura onto Chicken Boy, which is minus one damage to a minimum of one from range one or two attacks that target this fighter if the attacker is affected by one or more persisting poison gambits. Okay. Oh, and by the way, I switched them over on Inspiration. Oh, yeah. Third go, and I'm just going to, I'm going to move Chicken Boy. One, two, three, four to there. I'm going to play Arcane Reach, plus Ooh. two range to a minimum, to a maximum of six to the range, two plus spell attack action made by a friendly wizard in the next activation <laughs> step. You're staggered, but that doesn't count on spell attack actions, does it, being staggered? It does not. No, so I need Swirlies. Oh dear. It's Grievous added Stare. Oh, it's got the Stare, that's quite handy. Oh dear. Two Swirlies! Ooh. So I need a crit, basically. Yes. Oh dear. Oh dear, dead chicken boy. It's another glory for you. It's two, I think, because I think I have now scored Spark of Creation. Score this immediately after a friendly fighter's spell attack action took the target out of action and the caster and or the enemy fighter, which actually both of you, were in a hazard hex and or on a feature token. That's so a glory. That, so that's two glories. Two glories. So on to my last go. I'm going to charge with Kindle Finger. One, two to there. And he's going to try and zap um, Sapol with his warp flames, two swirlies, one damage. Two swirly, we're getting a lot of swirlies tonight. Yeah. Very swirly so thing. Is, um, Sarpon's actually rolling two shields, where she's only rolling one. No, that's fine, I'll go for him. Okay. I will mess it up. One damage to them. One damage. In phase, you went first. I did, I have scored manipulating the realms sphere. Oh. So which is the one I picked up. Score this name phase if your warbast cast more warbast. Warband. <laughs> Warbasts. Warband cast more spells than each other warband in the preceding action phase. That card is one of the easier cards to spend as spe uh, spend. score as long as um, you're not all playing magic. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get rid of Stir the Nest. It involves you being on a hazard hex and you're not really or a objective, objective hex. You're clearly yeah. not trying not, to do that not the moment so i'm going to get rid of that i'm going to get rid of temporary aligned as well which is after an activation step in which this fighter made a charge action push this fighter one hex i mean it could mm. be useful but but it might not be so i'm going to draw five new power cards and oh hang on i need to decide how many objectives i'm going to get rid of as well i'm going to keep two mm -hmm. which that could be a total mistake and just draw one new power card okay i've scored nothing Gonna get rid of dual contamination, which is either two poison gambits are persisting, unfortunately only one is because I killed the other guy, or two or more friendly fights each have one poison upgrade. Well I did, and then you killed Flame Spooler. Oh, so that was an, a double mistake. Yeah, having a day off. Yeah. 
And I'm also going to get rid of Loan Claim, which is your warband holds one or more objectives in no one's territory. I could have done that, but each other warband holds no objectives. Well, once you put the can't be pushed on him, I'm like, well, that's not getting scored either. I'll keep the last one. I'm going to get rid of Sneaky Weasel, because frankly, I, I have no up glory to, to put it on, but it's the best upgrade in the world. Sneaky Weasel. I don't, know why, I don't know why it's called Sneaky Weasel. What does it but, do? Um, or does it not matter? It doesn't matter. It's just called <laughs> Sneaky Weasel. It's not even got a picture of a weasel in the, in the card art. After an activation step in which this fighter took one or more actions, choose one enemy fighter that has one or more wound counters or that has the lowest wounds characteristic of each surviving enemy fighter, then push this fighter one hex. So I'm going to draw four power cards and two objectives. So it's time to roll for round two. I get two crits, two hammers. I don't think I'm going to beat that. Ooh. So I will go first. I'm going to inspire spawn more. And now to dodge. And I'm going to then, I have to stagger someone. I'll stagger old kindly fingers. I mean, you put the boss on guard. Okay, you're not no, that's it. Guard. It's only the changes. It's okay. not the boss. Okay, then so, you can't carry on. So you can only, once yeah. you lose... Yeah, I have to choose somebody that's not been chosen each right. time. Okay. And when there are no friendly changes that can be chosen, the chain sequence immediately ends. I think playing then, you need that card that brings one back. You had a card or a spell yeah. that brought one back. It was really useful. Yeah. So for my first go, I'm just going to move a flum, I think. A flum? A flum. A flum. One, two, three, four to there. Hmm. That's it. In the power step, I'm going to play No Safe Ground. Choose one fighter within one hex of one or more feature tokens and or hazard hexes. Stagger that chosen fighter and then push them unless they're holding an objective. So I will stagger her and push her one. Mean? Yeah. What was that? So huge. No safe ground. Okay. Uh, I'm going to attempt to cast a spell. I'm going to play Celestial Conduit, which is going to re-roll one magic dice in friendly wizards casting rolls if the caster is on a feature token. This effect persists until the end of the next activation mm. step. I suspect a spell's incoming. I'm going to cast Abasoth's Screaming Idols. If cast, it's a gambit, it's a lightning gambit spell. If cast, pick one feature token within three hexes of the caster. This one. Yep. Uh, move that feature token one hex. After you've done so, if a fighter's on that feature hex, deal one damage to that fighter. Nice. Not if you roll two swirlies, it's oh, not. Oh dear. <laughs> So I can re-roll one of those swirls. Re-roll one, yep. You need a lightning. A lightning, oh. I get a lightning. So I'm going to move the feature token and I'm going to pop it on Staggity Bonds here. Staggity Bonds, Staggity Bonds. And he Thank takes you. a wound. He takes a wound, yes. Wow. I am enjoying the additional objective play that they brought back in. Yeah. The old and the weird hollow. Yeah, there's, there's quite a lot of thinky objective play with this deck. Yeah. I think you could probably, if you mix it with some of the other decks, like, probably build up some yeah. quite... Quite Fierce interesting fortress, ideas, maybe. yeah. And then I'm going to put um, Sorcerer's Might, and they might, uh, they might. on um, Sauron, which Probably. gives him his spell attack actions have Grievous One. Okay. So they've already got Grievous One at the moment. He's inspired, so that goes to Grievous Two, doesn't it? Ow! I thought it was in the bag early on when, uh, when mm. I took your boss out. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not going so well for me now. Uh, and then I'm going to cast another spell. Ow. I'm going to cast Mind Wipe. Before casting the roll, pick lightning or swirlies. And this is the casting value of the spell. If cast, choose one enemy fighter within four hexes of the caster. That chosen fighter cannot hold objectives until the end of the round. That's a lightning, or I can use a gambit spell. If cast, pick one fighter, feature token within four hexes of the caster, and move that feature token one hex. Well, I might as well use the lightning. Yeah. Actually, so I could, it didn't matter which way around I did it actually in the end. A one lightning. So that's cast, so he can't hold objectives okay. until the end of the round. And then I'm going to put Quintex Static Rod on um, on him, which is cannot be driven back. Objective tokens within three hexes of this fighter cannot be moved, removed, or flipped. Okay. And I've actually used all my power cards Boom. in the first turn, which means I then score and burnt out. Score this immediately after a power step if you have no power cards in your hand. Nice. And then it's on to your first turn. Yeah, well, I shall shoot using Sarpon at Kindlefinger. Kindlefinger. So it's two swirlies. Okay, so you don't get the stagger reroll. I don't get any stagger reroll. It's got ensnare and I've got Grievous 2. Oh, two lightning. Very much a lot of nothing. I'm, also, I'm just going to switch over the things. So she's the inspirations. Yeah. So I quickly did that before you blasted him. <laughs> so I made him worse. <laughs> 
And then on my go, I'm going to attempt to blast him with Ephilim the Unknowable. Uh, with my two, it's two Swirlies now, although she's a level one wizard, she's level two, because she's near two of these oh, little yeah. Gribblers at the minute. So two Swirlies and two damage. One Swirly. Okay, so I've got one shield. Which oh. I do get. And I can't push you back either. No. So for my second, I'm going to make a charge action with uh, Stratosi. She's going to go one, two, three, four to there. She could go five if you wanted, couldn't she? But I could move five, but I don't yeah. need to. Yeah. So uh, she's got two hammers, two damage, and I can re-roll one this time. And you're attacking. Um, oh, I shall attack. Kindle finger again. Kindle finger. Poor old Kindle uh, finger. Two hammers, no cleave or anything though. So and two dodges for me. Oh, oh two dear. nothings. So that's two damage. So he's mashed. You get another glory. Oh dear, oh and then dear. I'm going to flip the inspiration again, and I'm going to push her this time because when I inspire Sarpon, um, can push her one I hex. Can push her one hex. Or a friendly fighter. A friendly fighter, yes. Nice. I'm going to play Choking Venom onto Ephilim, which is just a poison gambit. Choose one friendly fighter. That fight is range one to attacks have Grievous one, and it persists until the end of the round or until they make a successful attack. So my third go, I'm just going to try and bat you over the head then with Ephilim. Which is two hammers, two damage, but also I get single assists. I've realised I messed myself up. Two damage. No. But I do score something. I score carve a path, not efficiently in this case. Score immediately after a friendly leader's second or subsequent attack action in the same phase. This is quite funky in that you gain one additional glory if one or more of those attacks was successful and made in an enemy territory. Which is yeah, quite funky. It's a chance for a double, yeah, yeah, yeah. a double glory gain, but... Sadly not in this case, but one glory nonetheless. In my third, I'm going to get rid of Claim the Prize, Ooh. which I messed myself up slightly with my exciting getting a, getting the extra damage. Yep. But I did need it because I wouldn't have killed Kindlefinger if I hadn't used it. No. Uh, it's score this at end phase if your warband holds each objective in one or more territories, including no one's territory, and your warband holds two or more objectives in one or more of these territories. Mm -hmm. um, and there were two there, so if, when it was there, I could have scored that. Yeah. I'm going to put Callus onto Ephilim, which is plus one damage, basically. Uh, and if the target is affected by one or more persisting poison gambits, this fire is, or this fire is two or more poison upgrades, <coughs> which neither of those actually apply. So unfortunately, I don't get the plus one damage. And then for my fourth and final go, I'm just going to attempt to whack you with my stick again. So it's just two hammers and single assist. And this is on this lady. Yeah. A hammer. Okay. <sighs> shield again so i will just clonk you clonk yeah. for my fourth i'm going to make a charge action oh dear you know, one two three you're out of there hello i'm here to clobber you yeah it's three hammers and because it, and using scouring it's three damage ouch that not enough. staggered or anything now are you there's enough to take are you taking spawn more yeah yeah there's enough to take them out <laughs> Big fat nothing. That was a big fat whiff, and I needed that, to be brutally honest. <laughs> <laughs> you need normally you need normally I feel bad when you do terrible at the attack roll, yep. but this time I don't feel bad at all. That's fair enough. Anything in your past? No, you've got no cards. No cards. So on to the end phase. You went first. Yeah, I've scored one thing. I'm going to score lurking weight. Score this in the end phase if one or more friendly fighters are in enemy territory, and one or more of those friendly fighters have no move or charge tokens. Which is why I didn't do anything with them the whole time. That's a really horrible card to get. Mm. Oh, that's, that's, hard. Hard. that's probably great for Skaven and stuff like that, where you can resurrect them. I had Capable Poisoners, which is my warband makes one or more successful attack action in the preceding phase, which I didn't, but two or more surviving friendly fighters have to have poison upgrades, which they did. Oh, okay. But unfortunately... You didn't. No, good. So like two, 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 no, because I've got two guys alive. Ah, I don't rate my chances on that one. Yeah, yeah. And the last one I think I'm also going to get rid of is Venom Gorge, which is another two glory, which is scoring end phase if one or more friendly fighters have one or more poison upgrades are holding an objective in enemy territory. I just don't think I'll be alive to be able to score that. And with that, I will also get rid of the Poison Warp Metalith upgrade and Bleeding Out Poison. So I'll get rid of both of them. So I'm going to draw everything, three and five. Okay, you messed me up with that little push there at the end. Took me out from some objectives, but I have scored Sorceress Treasure Hunter. Score this in end phase if one or more friendly wizards are each holding an objective and one or more of those wizards have three or more upgrades. Sarpon has three upgrades, that's worth two. I'm going to get rid of Touching the Realm, 
which is only one glory. It has to involve, you have to have two fighters holding objectives, one of whom is a wizard. And I thought I was on for scoring that until you pushed me back. So I'm gonna keep that one, hope for the best, and draw two new objectives and five new power cards. <laughs> on to the third round. And I get, I get two Ooh. crits and a double. I don't think that's gonna help me, but it's always nice to roll some crits. One crit and a single. So I will go first. Get rid of these tokens, they don't matter anymore. And I will then attempt to swat Sapon in the face with. with Ephilim. I can't go, there's nothing for me to do with Ephilim's pandemonium okay. at the start because the first step is choose, choose is he somebody. Is not now inspired to... though? No. No, because no, Ephilim only inspires if two or more surviving friendly fighters are inspired. So it is actually impossible to inspire her oh. if you don't have at least two of the others inspired. Do so. they not inspire when there are two of them? No, no. The changes inspire. Um, when they're the when each other friendly fighter is inspired. So, oh, yeah. So you. So <laughs> oh, I messed keep, that right. Keep, I messed you right up. Yeah, there. you did. Yeah. yeah so yeah, key yeah. point to remember there is yeah. that um, yeah, keep whoever you inspire the first round up the back of the field yeah. and not near any of the action. Yeah. But I will go first, and I will attempt to clob a sarpon with Ephilim. So two hammers and two damage. Yeah. Is is that you got a range two attack? Yeah. Because I, I only say this because sarpon's got two shields. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, fair enough. But I, I don't get the single assist and I'd no, have to charge fair. otherwise, so. Okay, fair enough. Two successes though. Okay. Oh. Quick shield. Oh. That was a bit rude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in the power step I might as well play Hidden Lair. Pick one objective token, the same hex as an enemy fighter. That objective cannot be held and this effect persists till the end of the round or until it's flipped. So I'm not... So that objective cannot hold, be held. I can't hold that, okay. So I'm gonna play Freezing Venom on Sarpon, which means he cannot make super actions and attack actions against him have ensnare. This effect persists until the end of the round or until the Chosen Fighter makes an action or until the Chosen Fighter has dealt damage. Then my first, I'm gonna twat you. Yep. With Sarpon. You're talking Spore more? Yep. So three more. hammers, three damage. Yep. One crit. A singular critterer. So Spore more does have two dodge. I haven't rolled a crit yet in defense, I don't think. Still not. Three damage, I'm afraid. He's dead. But I will play a reaction. Ooh. Venomous Blood. Place during a range one or two attack action that targets a friendly fighter after the deal damage step. Stagger the attacker, then deal one damage to the attacker if the target has one or more poison upgrades, which Spawnmore does, or he did anyway. So he's staggerated. And he takes a wound. So he's up to two wounds. So you now lose the, um, the yeah. freezing venoms. I'm gonna flip inspire her. Leave him right out in the open. <laughs> I'm going to put the Venom Bite weapon onto Ephilim, which plays only if there are one or more poison gambits in my power discard, which there are many of. When I give this upgrade to a fighter, I pick one of those gambits and put it underneath this card. And after this fight's successful attack actions, I, I can take that poison gambit and then I pick another one Ooh, from nice. here and I put it in there. So, nice, nice, nice. quite funky. So, I will take out. I'm going to put the insect swarm underneath that one because that's the one where I rolled dice equal to the number of cards in my discard pile and for every hammer you take a damage. And then my second go I will charge with Ephilim. One, two, three, four to there. Sorry, one, two, three to there because I can't go four. Because it doesn't move four. I wasn't expecting that. So two hammers, but it's now three damage because she has plus one damage to the range one or two actions because she has two or more poison upgrades from Callus. Okay, so this is enough to kill him. Yes, but it's enough with two damage, wasn't yes, it, as it well? Was, yes, I will go for him. Okay, so you're going for Sarpon. Yes, Sarpon the Sarpon. Two hammers. So I need a crit. Do not get one, so Sarpon Bomb. is kaput. Kaput. And now she's permanently inspired now. So after this fight successful action, I can take this poison that was underneath that card and I can put another poison on there and I get glory. Glory, glory. And I think I scored an objective as well because there's so much going on. My mm. tiny brain's about ready to explode. <laughs> Mine is gone. Uh, I scored taking advantage, score immediately after an activation step if there are at least as many friendly fighters in enemy territory as there are enemy fighters in that territory, which I now have. And then in the power step, I'm going to attempt to cast, well, I'm going to use Insect Swarm, which is choose one enemy fighter within one hex of one or more feature tokens and or hazard hexes, roll a number of attack dice equal to one plus the number of poison gambits in my power discard pile. Quite a lot now. And I deal one for every hammer one I roll. damage? Yes, oh. but only up to a maximum of two. Oh, okay. So <laughs> it's not quite too bad. Okay, it's like, oh my God. <laughs> and I've got one, five. Wow, okay. So you could do two. Yep, so five dice for every hammer you take two damage. 
Every hammer I take one damage up to. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> you got a crit then. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Tell me about it. Really, dice? Really, I should have got at least one there with five dice. Now it doesn't matter. Let's just see again what happens. Oh, look, there's two hammers. Of course there is. I'm not bitter. Just for the record, I'm incredibly bitter. Very bitter. Okay, so it's my second. Yes. I'm going to move. One, two, three, four, five. Coward! And the power step, I'm going to cast ER as resistance. Oh, what's that do? Uh, it's a, these swerdies, if cast, plus one wounds to friendly fighters while they're holding objectives, persist till the end of the round or until another warband holds more objectives than your warband. Oh, the crit. Oh. I'm going to put this card on it. Again, I don't think there's any use at this point. Aspect of the Unstained Stalker, uh, which sounds a bit rude. But uh, until the end of this uh, round, this fighter cannot be targeted by ranged three attack actions or dealt damage by spells. Now, it is an action. I have to take an action to use that. Right. But that's okay. pretty cool. That's not bad. Yeah. At the end of the round in which this action was made, break this card. Okay, I've got nothing else. So my okay. third go, I'm going to draw, I'm going to get rid of an objective. Mass Poisoning, which is the one which is two glory, scores immediately after a friendly fighter with one or more poison upgrades, makes a second or subsequent successful attack, and draw a new objective. That's my last one. Okay, for my third, I'm going to put her on guard. And for my last go, I'm just going to draw a power card. For my fourth, I'm going to use the aspect of the Unseen Stalker, uh, which, so it's irrelevant, but it's an action. Yeah. So she has been activated twice. So I score powering up. So score this, three times now. Well, I know, but twice on a single friendly wizard activated for a second or subsequent time in this phase. That wizard was on the same objective in enemy territory on two or more of the times they were activated in this phase. Now, I remember us talking about that yeah. card and you going, who's going to score that? Well, yeah, it's only because I had that extra card. I was hoping. Yeah, and that's too I, glorious. My intention was to charge onto here and then yeah. hope, hopefully, in, you know, I get to shoot again. But it is too glorious. I wouldn't yeah. score that. Oh, I, I, scored didn't, it. I didn't think they would. I didn't think I would. Not bitter. So we're on to the end phase. So I scored superiority confirmed, ironically. Uh, <laughs> a, friend, a friendly leader is in enemy territory and the wounds characteristic of enemy fighters that are taken out of action add up to four or more. They, it, it does, it adds it does. up to five. It adds up to five. Well, well, actually, it doesn't add up to five anymore because that nine. has uh, the exception. No, the wounds characteristic of enemy fighters that are out of action. Oh, out of action. Which is okay, well, yeah, that's, that's four. That's yeah. two glory. Eight. Each. Which is not bad, takes me up to eight. Okay. I don't score Toxic Demise, which was... I got I got most of my surges at the end here as well, I've noticed. Score right. immediately after an enemy fighter affected by one more persisting poisons is taken out of action, which I would have scored on him, I think. And expunged. One or more poison gambits that were affecting an enemy are discarded and three or more poisons are in your power discard pile. I've actually got two. Oh, yeah. Two surges in my hand too, which I can't score, obviously. We score this immediately after a third or subsequent time the same enemy fighter was chosen by or declared as the target of your whirlband spell in this phase. Yeah, that's quite hard to score, I think, because yep. you, if you're shooting them with spell actions, it's not quite so bad. Mm. But you have to have a spell. I didn't have a spell that could target anybody. Exploit the ley lines is another surge. Jewel score this immediately. A friendly wizards cast their first or subsequent spell in the same phase. That's not that easy to yep. do. And that fighter is in a hazard hex or an objective. It's a little uh, tricky. For one again. glory, I think that's quite tough. But I, do I guess you do have an objective, which now you do have some spells that help you move objectives I and do. stuff as well. But yeah, and I, I mean, it's definitely scorable in circumstances. But it's one of those ones you don't want to draw into because you can't set it up. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I've got about a half score places of power. I think score this in the end phase of each surviving friendly fighter. No, I haven't. I haven't scored that. <laughs> Each fire is in a hazard hex or an objective, and there are two or more survivor friendly fighters. So I that's, haven't scored that. That's the stinger. So there was pointless running down there. That's why you should well, always, always read was, the end. Well, it I wasn't was, pointless yeah. because you scored that other two glory objective. Yeah. Which no, that's true. That's true. Arguably, you might have scored anyway, but also if you'd stayed around, if I could have clubbed you a, a yeah. bit more to death, I might have scored a few more yeah, objectives. Yeah, I wasn't, so. I wasn't staying around for that. I, I, I toyed with the idea of pushing you back because you charged. Yeah. And then I had the um, aspect of the unseen stalker, which you wouldn't have had to hit me with. Yeah. But I decided if I missed and didn't push you back, then I was going to be looking very sad. And I was going to be just sitting there trying to clob <laughs> yeah, you to death. Exactly. I, I probably scored another four glory if I killed you, right. I think, from the other yeah. objectives I had. But there we go. Some definite lessons learned there. Ephilim, I mean, the last game we played with these guys, go watch it if you haven't. It's in our, in our um, list of all our games, all our videos. The last game, you didn't seem to really kill anyone very easily, but this game, you definitely clobbered them much more. But then I also killed your boss man on, like, in the first, first round. Yeah, yeah. So uh, well, 
It's oh. interesting to see that losing your leader doesn't matter as much no. for these guys because they're, they're all, all good. roughly the same. And they're all yeah, and they can all they can all. It's not like with Stormsire. If you lose Stormsire in the Curse Breakers, that actually is a big hit because yes. he's your level, level two, two wizard. wizard. Yeah, yeah, these, these guys can all, go to level two. Yeah, and be your leader. Yeah, and be your leader. I yeah, I really like the design of these, and I and I like the design of this deck. I mean, I feel like it could be. No, abused is the wrong word, but I feel like it could be honed down to be really quite nice with the two decks, a Nemesis deck. Whether yeah. I'll be able to or not, I don't know. <laughs> uh, there's quite a lot going on. The problem you have, it, it was starting to get to that stage again where it's like there are so many good cards, making a Nemesis, even making a Nemesis mm. deck can be much trickier. I think it's the objectives where it's going to be tricky because mm. they're quite hard to, the, the objectives are all quite hard to score. So I think you need to find a nice synergy of yeah. being on objectives or not being on objectives but a lot of them involve being on objectives and a lot of them involve being on objectives on in the other half and half the time in fact yeah half the time when you've only got two but a lot of the time you, these guys are only going to be spending uh, only going to be on one shield yeah and one shield is pretty brittle especially yeah. as there's quite a lot more cleave it's in a lot the of cleave knocking around when you want it to yeah, be, yeah yeah exactly but even even without just one shield a lot of people are yeah. you're often rolling at least three dice yeah um, so, so that's yeah. why you killed um, Domitan because he only had one shield. Yeah, and uh, he was killed by old Kindlefinger. Yeah. I think it didn't, wasn't a big. Because he threw three swords, two down. No, it was Ephilim that zapped him. It was Ephilim with, okay. the, with the zip zap. But, but still, even there, it was only two dice. Mm. If you only got one, one shield defense, you're always looking for that crit. Mm. And so it's, yeah, I think they are brittle, and especially as I say, their objectives in this deck, and I think even in their own deck, they are they do involve you pushing into the other half, and that's that's a risky. Business. I think these guys. You definitely need that card that enables you to bring someone back. Bring someone back. I don't think. Yeah. The, I don't think the poison deck is the right call for this. No. Although one interesting thing is there's only one poison we attack we attack upgrade. Right. Because the the changes can't take attack upgrades. Ah, okay. Um, yeah. So attack action upgrade. So from that respect, it works quite well for them. Um, but it, yeah, it I think it feels like Scratch would be quite good with that. Well, I was wondering because there's a few things in there about getting people into the other half without move tokens, so mm. Scratch can bring people back. Mm. Um, yeah, and, I think and, that. And the, the poison upgrades, he returns, doesn't he, when they return? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, yeah if, they, yeah, if they've Scritch got an upgrade on them. Cool. He, I think he could be quite thematic as well because, you know, what's Gavin doesn't like poisoning people. All of them. All yeah. of them like poisoning exactly. people. Exactly. They all love it. They all love it. So, there you go. There are two games from the Weird Hollow. Featuring both or all of the decks from the box. I hope you enjoyed it. We both basically the first time we played either deck. So, yeah. Um, and either Warband. <laughs> well, this is the second time we played the Warband. That's I true. Get, that's yes, true, yeah. but I, I, know, I, I think the game has turned another interesting corner. We'll probably do a whole separate video about the sort of Warbands and the, and the cards. Yeah, and I you think can go so. Look at that. Uh, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the game. Let us know who you're going to play, what you're, what you're going to mix the, the decks with. And um, yeah, what are you looking forward to in Weird Hollow?